Hello there. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use Midjourney prompts for ultra realistic images. So first of all, we need to understand some really basic stuff regarding prompts and how we can utilize them to make our artworks even more outstanding and awesome than how we would create normally. So let's go to our browser and search something simple like a cinematic shot using Midjourney. So if you come here on Google and search something like a cinematic shot generated by Midjourney, you'll come to find that most of them have a few things in common, and that is they seem as if they have been captured by a movie or something and not actually generated by AI. I mean, not all of them, but some of them do look outstanding if you have a look here. Like this one is captured well done, and this is also good looking. As you can clearly tell, they have a unique style where a person is standing on a building and the atmosphere is quite like a cinematic movie. So how exactly can you get something like this? Maybe when you're using Midjourney, your artworks are not coming like this, even if you are telling it to generate a cinematic art. Maybe you get something looking like this, where it's not exactly how you would describe a cinematic photo. So what you can do to make your artworks even better? Well, if we want a cinematic shot, we will say something like a cinematic shot or cinematic scene, right? Yes, that is true, but there are other things which are really important when it comes to capturing a really high quality cinematic shot. For example, there are some keywords which you can use in your prompt, such as describing the aspect ratio, we could say it should be cinematic and 16 ratio 9. We can also write something like surrounded by and then describe the atmosphere I am putting this in bracket because it could be anything. For example, I'm gonna say surrounded by fog and large mountains. Well, this is pretty basic and good and all, but there is actually a way to up your game and get amazing results. And that is by adding small things into your prompt, such as adding a camera or for example, you can also write something like the name of the director of some movies or styles that you like. You could also write the names of some very famous photographers. For example, we could write Michael Bay or something like Christopher Nolan style cinematic movie. So actually, I'm going to show you something now. In our initial prompt, I'm going to add something else into it. For example, I'm going to say dynamic motion and I'm going to write Christopher Nolan. If only I can spell correctly. And now I'm going to tell it the type of the camera we want a high-speed camera to capture motion because we're looking for a cinematic motion graphic image. Hope it makes sense. So I'm gonna write phantom high-speed camera and then I'm gonna write 8K to get really high resolution quality. Then again, I'm gonna add something like cinematic and now I'm gonna add something else which is low-key lighting. Now what is low-key lighting? We can actually come on Google and search it up. Low-key lighting images from Midjourney. And if you have a look at this, this is a perfect example of image which has been generated by a low key lighting style or theme. So what this basically is, it means that the image as a whole will have a very low amount of light. So it comes out really dark and you know the horror type of theme which you're trying to achieve here. So if you are looking for a dark style cinematic picture, you really want to use this keyword in your images. Otherwise, they will not come out as good as they can by using this keyword. So let's try this out in our image. Apart from that, I'm also going to add V5.1 and let's try this out. Now here we have some stunning cinematic quality pictures and you can clearly tell they have really generated awesome artworks exactly how we described with large mountains, fog and you know, low key lighting structure. As you can clearly tell in these images all have something common which is a really dark atmosphere and how we achieve that is by using this keyword in our prompt low key lighting if you had not spelled this here it would not come out as dark as it is so this really outshines our artwork and gives it the final touches that it really needs to look more like an actual cinematic movie scene like for example, if you look at the force image, it looks exactly out of a Michael Bay or Christopher Nolan movie, just like how you see in a cinema. And really any sort of dark or horror themes of movies have this kind of atmosphere in common. And you have clearly seen that a lot of times, so I don't even have to explain this to you at this point. Now, if we wanted to upscale this image and see how that 
looks when it is in a higher resolution format. You can see there are some options underneath the artworks which have been generated. The U stands for upscaling and one, two, three basically means the images. So if we wanted to upscale the force image like I've done here, simply tap on this button and the V stands for variations. So if you wanted to take this image and create more versions of that, you can select one of these options. And now here we have our image which has been upscaled and we can have a look now. As you can see, this clearly looks like something pretty much looks as if just right out of a Peaky Blinders sort of movie. And if we wanted to get more versions of that, we can also use V4 to see how they look. And here we have some variations of the same image. And as you can see, they have clearly done an amazing job with this AI. It has generated some outstanding results. It's like they are all standing in the same place, but from different angle. And each picture has some differences. So you cannot say it's exactly the same picture and they all look outstanding. So this is good and all. We have described the atmosphere and we have gotten exactly what we needed. But what if there were some sort of a character which was focused in our scene and we wanted to capture that? What could we use for that? Well, if we come back to Google, we can search something like a full body shot generated by Midjourney. So if you look at those images, they all have a thing in common and that is the character is the main focus of each artwork. And this one also has the same thing. So basically all of them have this thing in common where their character is like the main sort of focus on the entire artwork. How can we achieve that? As you can clearly tell in our artworks, not a single character is like a focus or a main subject. They're all like far away. For that, we have some arguments which I'm going to show you. Just bear with me for a bit as long as we can create our prompt. So let's write something nice. For example, a samurai. We can take on the same theme as before. Something like large mountains. We could say the character is between the mountains. So a samurai in between large mountains standing on a hill has some fog in the scene. I'm not going to write down has some, but fog in the scene. I'll also write cinematic scene. And then up next, I'm going to describe how I would like the character to be. Do I want the character to be the main focus of our artwork or should he be closer or far away? Well, let's firstly try out the far away scenario where our character is like standing on a hill and he's not entirely the main focus, but you can clearly tell the scene is based upon the character and it's focused on that and the background. So for that, we have this keyword, which is extreme long shot. So we're going to add that to our prompt and then we can add extra things like 8K and ultra realistic, you know, just to make our picture even more outstanding. And we will also describe the aspect ratio. I'll again go with 16 ratio 9, V5.1, and let's give it a shot. And here we have our character focused artwork where you can clearly tell it is not a close up shot as we required an extreme long shot. You can see that we have written that in our prompt and we got exactly that. This is like the character is standing on a hill and is looking up on the mountains and the fog is hiding everything in between the lands and this one just looks outstanding and a samurai or Japanese styled artwork. They all have something in common and that is the character is not entirely the main focus, but you can clearly tell that the character is the focus of the scene. It looks as if the camera is moving around the character and capturing how the character is focused on the environment or his surroundings. So let's say you have an artwork which you are going to use, but you just want our character to be in that environment. What we can do in that case, we can open our image which we have generated or it could be any other image. Then we can copy its link and in our prompt, we simply have to paste the link and then with the space, we can describe our character. Like for example, I'm simply going to copy this and then I'm gonna paste it here. So I'm gonna remove some of those things like fog in the scene, we already have fog and cinematic scene, extreme long shot. But instead of extreme long shot, this time I wanna show you something else. I would like a full shot or something like the character is the focus this time around meaning it is not a shot taken from far away but instead it's like taking a portrait of the person so i'm gonna write full shot and then full body visible head to toe i would also like the artwork in a full outfit so i'm gonna write that and describe the image scenery, like the image is capturing the character. So I would write image capturing entire body and I will keep the remaining ones as they are. 
Now let's have a look at this artwork. So to summarize this up, we are using this artwork which we have generated in the low key lighting form factor and basically a Christopher Nolan style cinematic shot. And we're gonna use this as our base image and upon this image, we're gonna draw our samurai style character. So in this way, you can use images to build upon them and create your own artwork. They can be any images you found on internet or you could also upload your own image here on Discord and copy the link. And now if you have a look, there we can clearly tell the images have taken from our already existing image and then generated an artwork based upon that where our character is the subject and is like the main focus of the scene. Now let's try something different. What if we wanted something more in the colorful domain or something different from the low lighting form factor? Meaning we don't want anything dark so for that we could use the high key lighting which is the reverse of the low key lighting and let me show you exactly how that looks up. So in this case I'm gonna go with a slightly different prompt. We are generating a cinematic scene with high key lighting, mountains, water, river, some nice looking clouds, dynamic action, motion and I have written Elsa Garrison so I would like the art to be of the style which Elsa Garrison has and we also want motion blur in the image. So by our description, we get some results similar to these where you can clearly tell the color is the main focus and we have gotten something which has a high key lighting form factor. And if we take upon this image, which is the third one, we can upscale using U3. And now that we have the upscaled version of this image, we can simply copy its link and build another image based upon that. So I'm simply going to imagine and paste the link of our image. And here we have some pretty nice looking cinematic shots of some samurai in a boat through some valley or forest, whatever you might want to call this. So that was it for today's video. I hope this video was really helpful to you. Also, you should definitely check out this video. And if you took value, let us know or give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.